wants world peace, right? Yes, everybody wants it. Or maybe they say they want world peace, but they don't really want it. They don't want world peace. Because, guys, there is a simple solution. It's a simple solution, everybody knows it, and nobody wants to say that. Fire the boys! Fire the boys! There, I said that. Fire the boys! Because, guys, no, 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 guys, no, no, no. Boys have been ruling the world for quite some time now, okay? And look at it. No, look at it. It's a mess. It's a mess. And it's a mess made by the boys. And honestly, I don't even know why we're that surprised about it. Good. Okay. Let's get into any single boy's house or apartment. Or, oh, yeah, a dorm room. Are they tidy? Are the pants crisply folded and the shirts carefully hung and the socks all nicely paired? Are they? I mean, some are. Okay, yeah, some are. That's true. Some. Some. But the majority of it? Let's be realistic. The majority of it, it's a forgotten wasteland of dirty laundry and empty beer cans and old pizza boxes. But what really shocks me is what kind of idiot so that and thought. Hmm. Interesting. That's good. That's good. I think we should put that boy in charge, right guys? Yeah. I think we should put him in charge. Because he'll keep things into place. I mean, seriously? <laughs> that wasn't a girl's decision. That wasn't, no, that wasn't a girl's decision. Guys, no, no. Boys have been putting other boys in charge for years. And we girls, yeah, we get some intermediate management positions. And yeah, a couple of leadership roles here and there because hey the world is changing yay yay yeah but let's be realistic the majority of it is still ruled by the boys and if they knew what's best for them they would step down right away and let the girls take over and i know i know i know what you're thinking i know you're thinking what makes you think you know better well my answer is Wild baboons. Wild baboons, guys. Wild baboons proved that girls can do better. And I'll explain to you. Listen, let me let me explain to you. So there is um, a wild troop in Africa, okay? And by the way, you can Google it. So go ahead. And because of a tragedy, almost all the male baboons were dying, leaving the girl monkey is in charge. <laughs> Guys, the results were amazeballs. The male baboons stopped fighting amongst themselves and they started being more sociable. Guys, they even started grooming each other, okay? Like, less mean, more clean! <laughs> and that was good for them because the male monkey boy that used to be so stressed out about the constant competition uh, among the male monkey world around him, he just had to look up at this new girl pattern world and go back at grooming each other. And in no other wild troop does the male groom the other one. But these secure monkey boys, 
they can do that. And they can because their girls taught them to. And, and when new uh, male um, baboons come into the troop, they teach them the grooming thing. And this way, they kept this funky utopia for quite some time. And they pass it on from generation to generation. And, and listen to this, actually that led to healthier monkey boys. Because that's, that's wild. So the scientist who studies them, Dr. Solkov, he found out that the male baboons of this troop don't suffer of any of the issues that other monkeys have. Because the average monkey, of course, especially those, you know, of lower classes that get picked on all the time, they suffer of the same, the same stress-related issues that we do, like high blood pressure, or obesity, or um, the partial brain impairment function, or something like that that is stress-related, okay? But Dr. Salk of monkeys have none of it. They thrive like no other. So boys, if you know what's best for you, just step down and let the girls take over. It will be better for you. And it will certainly be better for the world. Peace out.